My career has taken such a, a crazy trajectory. In my undergraduate year, up to my senior year, if you had told me that I was going to be a teacher someday, I would have laughed in your face. All I could think about was getting off of the campus and never setting foot on one again for the rest of my life. I'm not sure quite exactly what happened, but in my senior year, thanks to some great teachers, I started to see outside of my, my youthful values, which mostly were taken up with uh, trying to become a rock star. I began my graduate career at Cal State LA uh, in the master's program in communication studies. And it was the best decision I ever made to go to Cal State LA. I'm very interested in studying rhetoric, which is the, the human use of symbols in order to influence attitudes. My main research is in the area of social movements. I study social movements from a communication perspective. It really matters how we communicate with each other. To look at a person and think of them as a human being and call them a human being is qualitatively different than to look at that same person and call them an illegal. You're looking at the same person, but words have great power in my view. Which is to say I'm really interested in the way that groups that are pressing for social change use symbols in order to influence our attitudes, our values, and ultimately our actions. Many of this, the courses that I teach involve different kinds of, they fall under the rubric of civic engagement. I think as an academic it's one thing to write about people and it's another thing to understand people. And those two things can be mutually exclusive and I hope they're not in my work. I can't imagine a better home than at Cal State Los Angeles. I fell in love with the campus as a student and I never wanted to teach anywhere else. It's hard for me to want to wear the mantle of outstanding professor, but there are certainly values to which I aspire, most of which come from people whom I admire. One of them is to understand that to give students space, space to come to terms with their own values. And for me, a classroom where students are allowed to have that kind of space to examine their own belief systems, to question themselves and not just others, to look inward at the same time as looking outward, that kind of an environment is extremely hard to foster, and those moments are rarefied. But if I think that I can create one in the classroom, that excites me. And to see students have a transformative moment that comes out of that kind of an environment, for me as a teacher, there's nothing better than that. I'll sleep with a smile on my face when that happens.